Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, um, we are continuing our adventures, primarily in the Americas, but also expanding our hold in Europe. We've landed our first troops off the Norwegian coast in an attempt to knock out uh, Norway and then to attack the British capital of Stockholm. And then after that point, we're probably going to go all in on invading um, Austria. We could do that now and attack France with an army from London, but I think I really need to keep um, building up my strength here. Well, to be honest, two troops, two armies, that's probably enough. Um, but let's maybe not do that right now because I have no money to capitalise on it when it happens. But yeah, like I said, chiefly we are continuing to secure our territory. In the Americas, we've taken Santo Domingo. So once this army is replenished, they're going to land at Caracas and capture Gran Colombia's largest city. But let's hit end turn and allow things to tick on somewhat. Our agents are moving into position. Ooh, one second. I shall rest a little. Our agents are moving into position, and because we are going to largely ignore India, I am going to want to create a fleet to attack the coast. Yep, this army is holding off of, holding out of range of the Mexican capital, uh, just because we've fought their armies in the field before. We are just um, going to allow them to replenish before going on the offensive again. The, the, the combined navies of the South and Central American powers are on the go, but that's okay. Withdraw, withdraw. Wait a minute, who owns Cuba? Is that France? It's awfully wide. Hmm, let's see how many our sloop can kill. Didn't kill any. In fact, they got captured. Oh well, the sloop did their job gallantly. I mean, it looks, yeah, it looks Spanish on the campaign map, but the colour of the national flag looked awfully pale. Let's see what the Spanish Navy can do. Good Republicans just like us. There comes a Royal Navy army. They're going to land off of Curacao? Either way, we're going to push an army south to attack them. Everyone else is advancing. Everyone else's turn is progressing quite nicely. Naples and Sicily. Okay, to be honest, we've got, two army, we've got an army of Lisbon, an army of northern Spain. It might be time to push them out and start to take the war to the Austrians so we can try and secure Europe as quickly as possible. And the Ottomans are not causing the game to overly... See, that changed mid-sentence there. They actually are making it slow down. Um, but yes, I will chop the recording and bring you guys back in a second. And we're off again. Right, so that wasn't too bad, actually. As long as Russia doesn't start doing the same thing <laughs> right now. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. A Persian fleet moving up. Not going to cause massive problems. Venice at some point could well um, turn on us and attack our ships in the Med. But that's okay. We're not worried about that for the time being. Norway should be deeply concerned. We have an army ready to march on the capital. On the way, don't bother raiding things. We're not going to try and do an economic war. We want to take the city in good order. Trade we raided, understandably. Fleet destroyed. It's a not sure I'd really call that a fleet, to be honest. Let's see if this force can finally leave Texas. Forward. 
Minus three, minus four. Yes. So. Mm, minus one, minus two. Let's try it. Do you have a? Does this get? A, do these guys get a bonus to garrison stuff? No, they don't. But still, we went from minus four, minus three, yes. to minus two, minus one. So it cut it roughly in half, just having the one unit there. So as we're recruiting a few more, that should be fine. Let's get... Actually, let's get this force. Oh, I thought you were repairing. Let's get Evan J. Marked. Let's get this uh, South American threat dealt with as quickly as possible. Yeah, I can make it to there, don't worry. Zoop. Oh my god, demand the surrender. I gave up pretty quickly. Let's see if they'll let us march out. They really didn't want to be part of this empire. March towards Bogota. <laughs> Demolish the dry dock. I mean, this ship's in pretty good shape. Still, let's use one of these fleets that's only just been formed. Meriwether Rodney. Let's go attack this Royal Navy fleet. Especially as they've got a few troops aboard. Make sure they don't cause any problems. Uh, but yeah, we've got Quite a large empire, and we're only making 40 odd thousand a turn. We really need to start converting, or he's growing our tax base, really. Things aren't quite where we need them to be. Uh, heavy, heavy, heavy. First, 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 first. Something like this. They're going to try and follow the follow the wind as well. My heavy fleet sailing at full speed. They might not necessarily get there in time to cut off um, this third rate, but. They're still going to do plenty of damage regardless. Actually, no, they probably will. We'll, we'll, we'll make it to here before their ship does, unless they keep slowly tacking to the left to get ahead of our line, which looks like that's actually what they're going to do. Don't worry. Hannibal up front with a caster, Abakir, Hussar, Penelope... Ramilly's Resolution, Hermes, Brilliant, Adventure. Fantastic names, one and all. Yeah, that third rate is going to scoot ahead of us. But this is why we have our heavy first rates up front. So we'll cut their line in half. Some of the ships are damaged anyway. Shannon, Norfolk, and they do have a second rate, I'm sure. Yeah, Narcissus sat at the back. We may haul our sails just to prevent an initial collision. Chain shot to sweep the masts off of Amphion. Good hits. But this guy has chosen the wrong time to climb the rigging. Argh!
we going to beat the fourth rate? Yes, we are. They are, they are making way for us. You're going to fire round shots. Actually, it seems like they're just going to butt up against each other rather than actually do anything useful. Get the last few shots out of our heavy first rate to be chained. Let's see if we can knock out a cheeky mast, which seems not possible. Let's send the back of our line like this. Round shot. Gauging Balk, Admiral's flagship fifth rate. A lot of damage. Abu Kir is going to start getting some shots into Amphion. As is tradition, these ships that are going to be pursuing, they are not all at full sail. Effectively, just crew just butt up against one another, start really creating our musket line, if you like. Keep sailing on. Keeping an eye on Narcissus. Chain shots usually quite good against these smaller ships. They get very upset quite quickly when you sweep away their masts. Excellent. You can keep sailing around us if you like. Take that last mast out. It's on speedy. There we go, speedy. Not so much. Let's get you ahead. Start engaging Narcissus. Narcissus is engaging us now. Let's send two of our ships around the other direction. To cut the fleet in half. New ships start to pivot. Face off against these, sh these fellows that broke through our line. You're in a great position where you are. Hold fast, Hussar. Hold firm. You get one fire chain into Newton far too pleased with itself. Excellent. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the main mast is gone as well. Okay, Narcissus is on fire. You need to keep sailing. Knock out the masts on Shannon. You need to pivot and start engaging Narcissus. Sailing in at full speed. Go on. Cleave those sails down. She's wavering. Routing. Surrendered. Okay, one blast into her masts. Ooh, she's she's running. Don't let her run. I mean, she's not going to run. Hannibal's going to get another... Pump another broadside of chain shot into her masts, and that'll be the end of that. Oops, she's back. Nope, she's surrendered. Two. Knock that mast out. And slow her down as much as we can. Are you still alive? Yeah, you are. Holy moly. Chase her down. Confederacy. <laughs> Long live the Confederacy. Admiral's flagship third rate. Bro full broadside coming in. speed have you finally given up yes you have everybody go get after Amphion at full speed you're gonna try and cut her off Knock out just that last mast. Come on, just the last one. Nope. Round shot it is. Let's speed this up. She's starting to waver now. As soon as Hannibal starts to get within range. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. That was handy, because now that's a small little Royal Navy invasion force also dealt with. Um, we're not going to bring any of them into our faction. We want to cash them all in. Um, sell you off to Savannah for repairs. Excellent. 1,100. What a bargain. Okay, let's get our upgrades going. Because again, we really want to make sure our economy is firing on all cylinders.
We've got an awful lot of armies we need to bring up to full spec. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Nathaniel Wallace can block the block the Baltic Sea. And in terms of towns, what's my wealthiest town? England, which currently has zero tax rate. Now you're going to be taxed, me old mucker. England. Then it's Chikasa, Cherokee Territory. <laughs> then it's Charleston. Then it's Kentuck Territory. It's, it's really interesting. And lots of the regions in the interior, because they've just got lots of lots of towns. Just Kentuck Territory's got two towns, Cotton Warehouse, Palatial Estate, good roads, 142 growth per turn. We are booming. Okay, you're still you're holding for reinforcement. Send a constellation out to here. Let's go fetch. This privateer fleet can pick up Osbert McDowell from Texas. Uh, land in Veracruz just because it's safe disembark your troops they're going to head south towards Antigua okay, apart from that everything else is coming along quite nicely okay you keep replenishing Probably do with the unit of camels. Problem is, actually, can native infantry form square? They cannot. That's going to be a bit potentially a bit dicey. Actually, they might be able to form square. Maybe Indian sepoy troops that can't form square. Either way, I don't think. Yeah, to be honest, you don't necessarily see it here either. Hmm. Okay, let's repair York. Let's recruit a long rifle from a general, Ronald Babington. You can't do that, sir. You're ready for orders. Yes, sir. Let's get Ronald to start building up a great army as well. Consent of Marines, get a Grenadier Guard, a Fusilier unit. Let's start to get some line infantry. Could max the recruitment out. From Edinburgh, but we're not going to worry about that right now because we've not got the money. Two more turns till we get a threshing machine, which is great. Make ready. One more turn to your rate of march on Christiana. And you're also steamboating towards Bogota. Let's hit N10, allow everyone to advance. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, we need to secure the Americas and we need to start earning some. I mean, if you're just going to run around me, uh, I'm not going to allow myself to get outflanked. That fleet's going to die for sure. If we need to move troops over to Texas quite rapidly to deal with this force, we can. Um, that's not a big deal in and of itself. That's unfortunate because we moved the fleet out, but we couldn't get them get them back in time. We could bring you into the yeah. We, got, we, we have another army ready. Ooh.
interesting. Let's deploy another army back to back towards um, well, deploy my other army in Norfolk uh, east into Scandinavia, I think to bolster the army that's already there. I think that's probably going to be a good idea. Oh, now we're up to the Ottomans. Let's see if they decide to break the game once more. Um, but yes, I think we want to move the troops that are currently stationed outside London over to Scandinavia just to fight off um, that, or to help fight off that British stack and secure Norway. Then we can take out the British once and for all, and then we can start to push into Austrian held lands uh, from the north. I think we're not going to find it possible to bottle them up entirely. You know, they, they have enough of a tax base that they are going to be able to generate enough wealth to sustain their armies. Um, but I will see you guys in a second. And we are off again. Looks like everything's proceeding as you would normally expect. Haven't got to worry about any new developments. The Norwegian fleet are out. Potentially they could do some sort of... Ooh, that's actually really interesting that they decided to sally out first. Jacob Strand being backed up by a field marshal of Europe, no less. A very elite force. Yes, let's do this. This should be pretty fun. We've got a lot of defensive firepower. They've got horse artillery, but that's not going to be enough to do what they need it to do. Yeah, we should be okay on this one. Dig our feet in. Slaughter them as they advance. Yeah, it's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, let's get cracking. Hopefully we've got a good defensive position. And hopefully the deployment doesn't screw us up. In a reasonable defensive position. A nice hill back here to defend. Let's put some guns in the line. Put two sets of artillery mixed in two units of elites either side of the gun leaves us a republican guard unit to deploy to whatever wing is threatened can, let's see if provincial scouts can deploy stakes I don't remember off the top of my head Dump my troop or dump my cavalry. Excellent. My howitzers. Just make ready with quick climb. My rockets fire at whomever they desire. My last 12, my last 24 pounder. Can engage in counter battery. Oh, yikes. of how it's so this is engage quick climb on that bearing this how it's a unit do whatever they like my rocket team are engaging yeah, yeah there we go just attack ground here constantly Rockets away, probably onto this unit of heavy cavalry. Yes, they are. You're charging quite a serious block of elite infantry here, heavy cavalry. Too bad about the sound. It's just the game being stupid.
Actually, you know, stick it, get out, stay out. Actually, you're probably going to have to get mixed in. Throw the Continental Marines in. Quick climb away. Which one's the horse guard? Artillery unit on the hill. Sniper the heavy cavalry. It looks like they want to try and form up, although they they are aware of the fact they are getting annihilated. Merchant of horse are not doing super well against the heavy cavalry. However, the marines going in to help them will be very useful. Probably engaging their artillery. Okay, starting to actually hit the engineers now. Excellent. Enemy line has been defeated. On come the Norwegians. Gunners engage the regiment of horse with canister shot. Belay that order. Well, they're probably going to want to fire canister shot at this enemy infantry coming in. Long riflemen are peppering them with shots. They get within range. Two units of enemy heavy cavalry. Provincial scouts can start nipping at them. They may be quite content to pick at us. Until they form up, but it will be their doom. Form square. Last the line close. They're in a good position to peck at the fourth horse guards. Four pound howitzer, switch to round shots. Engage the blunderbuss shotgunners to the rear. Oh, men fired well into the fourth horse guards, who, however many men have shots ready to go.
Yeah, the enemy is still determined to not do a combined push, which is useful for us, but devastating for them. I get the impression the British didn't want to fight in this action. You managed to knock out one unit of cavalry. Get out to get into formation and start blasting them with canister shots. Halt. Skirmishes into position. Should be okay. Summer Regiment of Horse Forward to engage the, the British cavalry, the British artillery. That's how it's to do on Limber. cooking. My cavalry is going to rejoin or recombine for battle. Light cavalry just hold them up. Replacing stakes. Kill the horse artillery. through if we lose the ho if we lose the cavalry unit that's okay oh horse grenadier guards are giving us a gonna give us a good volley yeah we routed and broke instantly fair enough main objective was to defeat the defeat the um, Norwegians so we can re reorientate our army So then they have a unit right at the back. We'll rush a light cavalry forward to deal with that unit. Long riflemen have to start running. Take all of my artillery. Grand Air Guards are advancing. You men take out the horse artillery, that's the last of the Norwegian contingent. Excellent. Quick climb is still doing good. Focus it on the horse grenade guards. Rockets coming in. Good hits. I think that, that unit might end up being stuck because of the stakes.
Okay, how much to engage? And limber and limber. Enemy artillery destroyed, as is the enemy, as is the British artillery. Bring my light cavalry forward. Curacier advance. Pivot the front in. There we go. The British are being slaughtered because they are attacking incredibly badly. Go attack the horse artillerymen because they're about to come back. Long row from getting some shots off against the British line infantry. Excellent. And advance up onto the high ground. There's the, there's the Norwegian general that's got them into this mess. Go get that general's bodyguard. Light cavalry go after the enemy infantry that's routing. Marines with a knock volley gun. They've had enough. Grenadiers. The 5th Grenadiers are still here. 2nd Marines. Let's hit them with some quicklime. We're on the enemy general's bodyguard. Okay, let's make sure my general gets involved where possible. There we go. There goes the enemy general's Enemy general, not his bodyguard. Excellent. All oh my foot artillery engaged the enemy close to the front. There go the British. Cease fire the artillery. And we are going to continue. They got involved in this mess. Let's see if they kill any of my long riflemen. <laughs> they did okay. Kill the engineers. Yeah, they have a lot of engineers actually in this formation. Not overly bothered about Royal Marines with a knock volley gun, but may as well, we've got time. General got a unit. Okay, we target. We target. Excellent. Everybody pick a unit over here to go after. Excellent. Kill. Make sure the Marines die. It's absolute slaughter for the British. Their force has been completely obliterated. That's what happens when you have allies such as Norway. You'll pay for this. Your capital will burn. Although they will burn um, <laughs> while we replenish. Tactical retreat. Daniel Green. 
And yeah, you just keep pushing towards Antigua. You advance strategically towards a position to threaten uh, Mexico. They might advance, but they won't get all the way in one turn. And actually, I can bring you to bear. Oh, you're not actually fully recruited. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can pick up. Um, you can pick up some reinforcements on the way. Well, to be fair, what what we can actually do is you can attack the people in that garrison, the people garrisoning the port. I know you can't actually get out of the port. No, that plan didn't quite work. I mean, you can use you. This is still plenty to cause a real headache for the garrison. Disembark the troops. Abraham Pitt. Advance towards the city. There we go. Now what are you going to do? Mr. Marichal. Traits gained. Agent recruited. A rake in Panama. Let's send them down to Bogota. See what's going on. Agent recruited. Protestant mystery in Algiers. Very useful. Let's send another religious agent to Cairo then, I think. Start trying to cause some problems for Egypt. See, they've already got two, one religious unrest for one of my infantry. One a one percent of uh, Protestantism. Yeah, do what you like. You're going to be in problem. You're going to have a lot of problems soon. Excellent. Here you are not needed quite as urgently as you used to be. The second they leave this port and undefended, <laughs> we're going to be in there. Send the sloop over to San Juan. We're going to send this fourth rate round to pick them up, ship them over. Effectively, just land them off the coast of Antigua. Ready and waiting. Nice. Let's get you back into a friendly port. Fleet arrives. Let's check what that means. Uh, yeah, more ships to come in <laughs> for repairs. There we go. Yes, sir. Recruitment is underway. One unit of sharpshooters, because that's all we can get. Can we not get regular light infantry? Yes, we can, although there's a limit to how many of those we can have as well. Nice. Works on strike in Texas. Not anymore. Okay, you're in trouble <laughs> now. Because Nathaniel Green will soon be ready to jump on to the capital as well. Same with you guys over here. A couple more turns and Evan J is going to be on Bogota. Cool. Pop over to Europe. Yes, sir. You men replenish and put, put Christiana under siege. So that's actually a lot of infantry. Let's just deplete them a little bit, especially as our infantry base is actually quite weak. Okay. Can you guys leave Portugal? You can just, but foreign resistance to foreign occupation is going down handsomely. Um, we can push up to provide another force to defend the Spanish capital. Actually, you can be diverted towards Portugal. 
Why are we not making any com doing any sort of conversion over here? Love will be done. Let's see if this will work though. Very zealous and only he's a terrible looks terrible for twenty six. He's got lots of zeal though, so he'll be great. Murphy Cecil is holding the bridge admirably, preventing Austria from doing any more raiding. But well, he's raiding too far down south. This brig isn't enough to break out of Brest. Awesome, good conversion here at Tripoli. Send Amadeus Seymour. Actually, let's send Amadeus Seymour up to France. Hopefully, we should start to see some sort of religious unrest being fermented here in Paris, especially as Protestantism is on the grow. Excellent. So they've pushed us out in some of these areas. make sure they are being blockaded great okay let's move At the ready. Oh, too nice. you're potentially ripe for the assault of Norway or are you gonna land land inland and start to push towards Stockholm that might be a good idea especially after we've destroyed that British force trying to stop us. Apart from that, I think we've built everything that can be built. For the most part, I think that's true, which is a really nice position to be in. Okay, let's hit N10 and see what happens. Awaiting instruction. Taking cover. So, what are you going to do now? Central and South America? Oh, I thought so. Enemy approaching! Um, yes, we'll fight that. So we'll be able to destroy or damage most of their troops outside of the city in the open field. So in theory we should have a attack coming in to our, um, our right flank to be aware of. But apart from that, we should be great. We can get set up and things will be superb bring the enemy to battle destroy them outside the city especially as we have a lovely defensive position okay these men plus eh, i suppose we want to advance down the hill really a little bit Do something like this. Keep our howitzers firing. Skirmishers ready is a bit of a reserve. Same with my cavalry. Tribal auxiliary just hold the right flank. Something like that. The skirmish is on the left. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of artillery fire there on, on the enemy artillery. Okay, get our howitzers to focus on the enemy. Um, Infantry coming in. Let's make you guys. Actually, let's pull you guys. Back to here. Pull the general back into the center. Tribal auxiliary. Better be to keep all my cavalry out wide. 
going to be light cavalry is advancing. Poor choice of forces to try and break through, if that is your plan. Okay, pull back. You may can get back into line, start to engage the colonial dragoons. How it says focus on the infantry. Some real good hits here. That's exceptional hits. Double whammies right here. Fire will off. Artillery fire will on. Blast him! Go get him. Fire will off. Actually, go in against the general's bodyguard. Get out of square formation. Form up. Skirmishers advance at speed. Gunners back here. You men focus on the, the 11th Regiment of Light Horse. General's bodyguards morale is going down fast. Regiment of horse is yet is as yet uncommitted. Light cavalry has been chased off. We're gonna keep the artillery fire um, hitting them. There we go, two generals units destroyed. Reinforcements coming in. Format. Enemy cavalry is not giving up yet. Our skirmishers can advance on the left. They're charging in, but they're now under withering fire. We don't want to advance too close to my tribal auxiliary either. They'll give you a blast. These two cavalry units are going to smash the 7th regiment of foot. Tribal auxiliary are going to engage the 5th with musket fire. Oh, well, they've caught you out of formation. a lot of deaths really quickly. Excellent. They've been shattered immediately. We're going to hit the fifth in the back. Actually, the regiment of horse can bounce off into the 30th. So can you. Their morale is low as it is. Cavalry attack sorted them out. New men pushed down the hill. Cavalry came back, but not for long. Engage the 11th. Ooh. Potential for friendly fire there. Other than that, though, god damn. of artillery fire against the 11th but the 14, 114th regiment I'm sorry is able to engage they're in range of my skirmishers but the skirmishers are going to be dangerously accurate small arms fire and artillery fire has driven them back same with the 4th regiment Okay, you probably do want to do some tidying up here. So I'm going to give you an order. Get my artillery to stop firing. Nice. Engage the Grenadiers. Everybody keep killing. You were kind of screwed because you couldn't go for everyone as it is anyway. 
Okay, great. How are they gonna get away? Everybody go after this colonial militia. Pathfinding is gonna be super efficient. Then we will mow them down. Nice. They were fools to think they could save their capital in such a puny manner. It's the last guy standing. Soul Mouthier is still firing, but it doesn't really matter because victory is ours. Very nice. They have 620 men remaining. And all in the city. So we can start the counter as we will put them under siege this turn. Then we can start sending some of our melee infantry reinforcements from Texas down south. You can attack whatever ports you like, Mexico. You're in trouble. And you know it. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> They're making a good effort of it. Fair play to Mexico. You can keep raiding that port as well. Do not mind. Am I going to intercept? Sure as hell no. There you go, they're pulling in troops back to Antigua. Grand Colombia sending agents northwest to try and probably steal Mexican or American technology. Enemy fleet ahoy! Ooh, they're actually going to push out. Oh, my mistake. I was under the impression I had a much more... a much better ship blockading that port. Yeah, so they've managed to get out. That's fine. We'll send... Some proper ships to blockade the port just to prevent them from breaking out. More ways managed to beat back the Prussian fleet. But Prussia got their revenge. Prussia knows what's about to happen. Prussia knows. They know Norway's going down. Always have to be suspicious of the Marathans. The Marathas, because they haven't been. They're not being. The only people they've been challenged with, potentially, is the British. But because we are doing a really good. Doing a really good job at dismantling um, the British Empire elsewhere. It's only a matter of time before they lose that, before Britain loses um, their colonies anyway. So us attacking them is only just going to bring back the balance. Looks like the Ottoman in turn is actually progressing this time fairly sprightly. So I might not have to chop the recording, which is real nice. There goes the Russian Navy. The Russians have a good good fleet at sea, so it's good that we're not at war yet, although I feel we soon will be. <laughs> no, no peace. No peace at all, good sir. Victory will be ours. Take advance. Want to punch card loom. Excellent. Fleet destroyed. Again, that's quite a big term for a a brig. Oh yes, I forgot about you guys up here. Ernest Southerns, march on to Stephen Worsley. 
Wow, he lost a load of men in that quarter as well. Oh well, we'll put get you back into London and we'll get you get you suitably re equipped. Okay, keep the upgrades rolling. Okay, good. Swansea, let's upgrade the Iron Masters works. Excellent. Let's send two native warrior auxiliary units down to Abraham Abraham Pitt. He's going to march this. He's just going to actually just attack the city directly. He's just going to um, siege them while reinforcements arrive. Null Compton is going to march on to Antigua. Evan J is going to get within a turn of Bogota. This force is not going to get there fast enough. So I think we effectively did all of these. Yeah, Spain needs money, really. Diplomacy. Spain. Let's offer them... 10 grand and we'll, we'll buy coppering and improved preserved foods off of you how about that what fine to be fair okay okay let's do this actually give us improved coppering 10 grand for that they won't give away any of my technology they won't, they won't trade any of their technology. Fine. There you go. This is what you want, isn't it? My money. Get some of your cities repaired. Be useful. Okay, 27,000. Recruitment. In the UK. Continues. You're replenishing while you're besieging. Riley grinds. Push on to Stockholm. Great. But I think the thing to do is, looking at the timer, let's kick off the next episode with the assault of Antigua. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the capture of, the, of Mexico's second city. Cheers, everyone.